Okay, now let's go over to the Mastercraft kitchen and there's no microwave inside today, Mark. No, no microwave in here and we're doing a classic breakfast dish today, porridge. I can see everyone's mm. face go, porridge? That's a bit boring. <laughs> but this is yep. far from boring, right? We've got some fantastic ingredients in there. We're going to have vanilla in there. We've got bananas in there. Um, we're going to finish it with some uh, walnuts and some cocoa nibs. And the special secret ingredient, eggs. Eggs, I hear you say, that's not normally in porridge, what? but it is in this one. <laughs> eggs. Wow. And we like to call this custrich. <laughs> and it's a new word. <laughs> but, yes, <laughs> I like to do this a lot in the kitchen. Uh, basically, we're going we're gonna to finish the porridge with the eggs, and, and then they're going to sort of slowly cook with the thickened custard and the banana, mm. and it's going to make sort of a, a custard around the porridge. It's absolutely fantastic. And then a special little treat, we're going to blowtorch the top. So it's going to be a caramelised. It's going to be the best breakfast you've ever had. It's, it will change your life. I definitely, highly recommend doing this. Oh, well, you've got me across the line, actually. <laughs> yeah, Sounds yeah. good. So first job, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the milk, pour the milk in, and I'm just going to put the porridge in. So this is all measured out, and I'm just going to start cooking that. So a little bit later on in the show, we come back, we're going to flavour this, and then we're going to make that beautiful custard around the porridge and then finish it with the banana. It's going to be absolutely great. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of porridge, Mark, so you're going to have to convince me you have got your work cut out. I oh, know, and, that, and that's why this recipe is so good, you know, we've got bananas in there, we can put some walnuts in there, we've yes. got the chocolate nibs in there, and we've got the eggs which will just create a nice custard Ooh, around it, yeah. so it's, it's, it's just going to be the best uh, porridge you've ever eaten. Just think porridge, creme brulee, together, crispy top. Mm, yes. Okay, well you get awesome. there. Yeah, I'm still not convinced though. Okay. <laughs> Right, so we cooked the uh, we've got the milk and the porridge oats in there. So we've just cooked it, so you can see it's nice and thick now. That's a good brew. Yeah, nice we're just going to add some flavour in now. So vanilla. Mm -hmm. So you can either go uh, use fresh um, uh, uh, vanilla beans, pods. beans. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. Oh, okay. pods, beans. <laughs> Don't worry, were then. Okay, well, so, so, so how this custard's going to turn out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I'm a bit worried now. Um, so just flatten it, cut it down the centre, and use the tip of your knife. And you can scrape it. all this out, mm -hmm. okay? And then that just goes straight in. Um, you know, if you haven't got um, fresh ones hanging around, just get like a, a product like this, and you can just pop a little bit in there. Oh yeah, yeah, nice, beautiful. Right, so the vanilla is going to give you a bit of natural sweetness as well, okay? So we're going to add a little bit of extra sugar, but you don't need a lot. So this is great for the kids. So okay. Just a just a splash in there, not too much, or even leave it out if you want. So, so far, we've got the porridge, we've got vanilla, we've got sugar. Right, and then vanilla I'm going to get you to mash a banana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mesh. Right, so I, you I mash the mesh, you mash the banana. Yep. So we'll put that through the mix, so we'll get a nice banana, fresh banana hit through there. And we're also going to chop some up for some texture as well. Right, now I'm going to do the eggs. So just get the eggs, whole eggs, crack them in there, give them a whisk up. And then once you're at this stage of your custard, uh, of your porridge, we're going to add the eggs and then we're just going to slowly cook it so it thickens and then we're going to serve it. So uh, the, the porridge is, you know, pretty normal and I don't know many people that have managed to zhuzh it up. So how did you come across this recipe? Well, I mean, you, you've, got, uh, you've got sort of top chefs like Heston oh, and he does, uh, he does like a classic sort of porridge dish in the restaurant for dinner. So it's snail porridge. Snail porridge? Yeah, so it sounds horrible, but if you look at a picture, Google a picture of it and it looks actually fantastic. Obviously, you've got to uh, like snails and porridge together, and it's green, but it does look really good. Um, so, you know, if he can do it, why can't we do it? Actually, I've got, I've got to tell you the truth, actually. Uh, one of my friends actually made this for me, and he was talking about it, and I was exactly the same. You know, I was like, oh, that sounds horrible. Uh, but he made it for me for breakfast one day, and it was great. So I stole the recipe, and it's for you guys at home. Oh, well, nice. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I'd hate cooking for you. It would be awkward. But <laughs> I'd obviously your recipes. <laughs> um, so you can see now the eggs are in there, so you just want to be really careful, just on a low heat continually stirring it. You don't want to um, let it catch now or get too much heat in there, otherwise you'll curdle the eggs. But you can see it's getting nice and creamy and it's creating that custard now. So we're just going to pop a bit of banana in there as well. OK, I did two. Was that all right? Yeah, no, that's great. Sweet. Yeah. So I pop that in and then you just want to warm that and then we'll just finish later. So you can just serve it like that in there, creme brulee or glaze the top. Or, as a little treat, we can put some walnuts in there and some chocolate nibs in mm. there as well. So chocolate that gives us nibs. great texture. And, I mean, you've got Ben and Jerry's over here in New Zealand? 
Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so <laughs> back in the UK, you used to have this flavour called Chunky Monkey, and it was bananas and chocolate and um, walnuts. So that is a great combination. So I stole that as well. <laughs> hey, so, so, so I missed it because I was mashing. Um, you've already put the eggs in. Yeah, the eggs okay, are in there. You can see. Look, you can see that now. So look, it's it's. It's almost looking like a lumpy creme brulee, mm. which doesn't sound good, but it's going to taste <laughs> fantastic. Okay, okay, cool. Do you need any more banana? Uh, no, you can eat that. Mm. We don't want to make it too banana-y. Yeah, it's like all about bananas. bananas. Oh, okay, sweet. So we can leave it here and come back and finish it off soon? Yep, so we're, we're very close. Uh, all we're going to do is put it in bowls and we're going to glaze the top. So come back a little bit later and we will glaze for a nice crispy texture on top. Nice work. All the recipes at thecafe.co.nz. We'll head over to the Mastercraft kitchen where Mark is finishing off his posh porridge. And I haven't been convinced, Mark, but can I just <laughs> say it's starting to smell incredible. So I'll get it in my mouth soon and I'll tell you what I think. Wait until you taste this. <laughs> right. So we, so we finished the uh, custard. So the eggs are cooked. It's nice and creamy. We've got the cocoa nibs in there. We've got the walnuts in there. Time to glaze. Oh, it feels manly blowtorch. <laughs> oh. Oh. Move aside, here's the I don't know if you can hear me over the blowtorch, but we've got a little bit of um, demerara sugar on there, and we're just caramelising that. Okay, so just nice and evenly, get a really good colour. A little bit more sugar if you need it. Okay. And then we are good to go. This is going to be the fancy right, porridge here you go. I've ever eaten. Yeah, it's like, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Bring over the porridge. So a little tip for you now. Sugar is really, really hot, so just wait Ooh. just for about 20 seconds. And then the sugar will set, and then it'll crack into it. And if okay. you go too fast, it'll just burn your lips. OK, so just, sweet. just a little bit, and then go. Well, I think I'm sold, pretty much. What are you doing tomorrow, by the way? Right, tomorrow we've got whole chicken, and I'm going to do three recipes over three days using different parts of the chicken. Oh, nice. Sounds really good. There you go.